Yo guys, in this video we're going to be talking about farming, which hunt, what gear to go for, what's best in the current day and age for Epic 7. But if you wanted to get a little bit ahead, maybe pick up some extra leafs, maybe the gear packs, or even if you're a lighter spender and just want to get the monthlies, you need to consider using Amazon App Store and the Amazon Coins to get up to 20% off your Epic 7 purchases, as well as check out all the discounts you can get on the other games and other apps. Additionally, if you're in the US, you can download the Epic 7 PC client directly with Windows 11 and Amazon App Store to so start using using the links in the description below and the pinned comment to save yourself a ton of money on both Epic 7 and a lot of other games. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. What's going on y'all and welcome on in. In this video, I want to talk about which hunt is best to farm in Epic 7 2022 and why. As you all know, things, or maybe you don't know, but things have changed pretty drastically in terms of how they were in the past with the recent buffs to destruction set. Hunts like Banshee have become much, much more viable on my main channel. I've already been pushing the fact I've been bringing on guests that like Banshee, that have only farmed Banshee, on why it can potentially be a viable alternative because Wyvern has, for the longest time, been the king of all hunts. Speed set in any turn-based game, especially Epic 7, is so powerful. It is so universal. It is was the most that efficient but guys destruction set has now become the king but does that mean banshee's better than wyvern overall we're gonna go over a few things like gear score stat efficiency i'll try to keep it as simple as possible as a lot of y'all are new players but if you're a returning veteran hopefully some of the things i talk about you can still understand as well as the new guys so anyways without further ado let's go ahead and break down destruction set banshee versus wyvern and all that good stuff hopefully that'll help you decide what you want to farm and yeah let's get into it Alrighty y'all, so like I mentioned, this video topic is going to be on Wyvern vs Banshee, which hunt and which sets should you be farming for and why. The reason we're revisiting this topic, even though on the main channel we've talked about it all the time, you know I bring on guests that like to play Banshee as a main hunt, even though Wyvern is considered king. Why? Because speed set is so powerful, and any turn based game, speed set is usually king because taking first offers such a huge advantage. Now, Epic 7 is no exception to that, but with the recently changed or buffed sets, Destruction Set mainly getting buffed from 40% increased critical damage to 60%, I think the gap between Wyvern and Banshee has closed even more. And Destruction Set is now, guys, the actual king of stat efficiency and gear score. I'll explain what those two mean uh, here in just a little bit. I'll keep it simple. Um, but on a side note as well, Injury Set got changed. I'm hesitant to say buffed because some players or some people have been saying that, you know, the text just got altered. But anyways, Injury got changed as well to uh, offer a single target and keep an eye out on that, guys. Alencia, units like Alencia have shown huge, huge promise stacking that single target Injury. Um, but we're not really going to talk about the Katie's hunt as much as Wyvern and Banshee are much more viable if you want to, you know, adapt an entire playstyle around those two individual hunts. Katie's still very important. Penetration set still amazing. Injury set looking even better. But let's keep this focus on Wyvern versus Banshee. Okay, guys, here's the patch notes. And we're going to do a little bit of learning time, a little classroom time. Sorry, just bear with me. I'm going to make it as uh, simple and hopefully as entertaining as possible for you guys to grasp. But let's go over some numbers. So destruction set increased, like I mentioned, from 40% to 60% increased critical hit damage. And that means it has now outranked Wyvern set or speed set as the number one most stat efficient set in the game now. Whereas speed set used to be, you know, gave you the most bang for your buck in terms of stat efficiency. Well, now it's destruction set. Don't worry, at the end of the video, I'm going to talk about why Wyvern set is still important. Even if destruction set gives you more numbers, you still need speed set for certain playstyles, certain units. I'm sure some of y'all can figure it out already, but we'll cover that at the end. Let's go ahead and focus on destruction set and gear score. What is gear score? Why is that so important? Why is destruction set now the number one set for gear score? Um, I think let's go ahead and start by leading off into this. Guys, this is called Fribble's Optimizer. Long story short, I believe gear score is just a player made term. It's a community made term. You won't find it in any of the new player, you know, in-game tutorials from Epic 7, um, Smilegate. This is sort of something that the players have used to create a system of metrics. I know this is gonna sound a little advanced. I'll keep it as simple as possible, but just think of it like this guy's gear score is how well a piece of gear rolled compared to its maximum potential. So for example, on a red piece of gear, let's say it's red piece level 85, if you were, let's say it has critical hit chance and critical hit damage, do we know the ranges? Let's say, I'll tell you guys, the range of critical hit chance rolls are from 3% minimum to 5% maximum, right? 
I'm sure a lot of y'all that have rolled gear have kind of pieced together what I'm saying. So if you were to hit more max rolls, 5% critical hit chance, compared to 3% minimum rolls, your gear score would be higher. Likewise, for the critical hit damage subline, if you were to hit more 7% maximum rolls compared to 654% critical hit damage minimum rolls, your gear is going to be higher. So the more higher rolls you hit, the higher your gear score will be. The lower, obviously, the lower. And those ranges... Gear will average anywhere between like 40 on the low end for you newer players, 40 to 50, all the way up to 80. As you can see here, I have a necklace here that's 80 plus. How many of you guys have, if you guys have used fribbles or other, there's other tools you can use to calculate gear score. Just be careful. We want to use the one that we're all using together as there's different, um, what do you call it, metrics in terms of uh, determining the numbers, how much weight or stats you allocate. But let's keep it simple. So... As my necklace here, it's 80 plus gear score. I would say anything 70 plus is extremely good. 75 plus is very, very good, like nearing perfect. 80 plus is already, you know, as almost perfect. And then I would say, guys, above 60, if most of your gear is above 60 plus, if it's in the 60 range, you're going to be able to compete at the higher levels of even, you know, RTA, Emperor Legend. Now, you might get gear gapped, as players call it, you know gear difference the gear difference might be too big uh if you get to the highest highest levels of legend but even at 60 plus you're good most y'all will be around the 40 to 50 and then the 50 to 60 if you're newer don't worry you guys can still get champion easily a lot of times for rta for example it's more about your unit drafting what units you choose the reason i don't like to talk too much about gear score in general um is just because a lot of players get too overwhelmed by it number one and two take too much stock into it so uh, if you can see here guys i know the numbers might be a little small but my spectre tenebria is my best geared unit um at gear score 442 which is very good uh especially for someone like me that doesn't take the game hyper competitively um a lot of y'all watching may not even have a unit above 400 gear score average and you might hear some streamers some players talk about you know all my units are 440 plus i won't use anyone other than that that's for them, guys. They're probably Hall of Fame pushers. Extremely, extremely competitive players. For the rest of y'all watching, don't worry too much about the number side of things. I just wanted to explain quickly, because you're going to hear this term a lot, about gear score, why it's so good, and why Destruction set over here is now the number one set. Just understand, you get more bang for your buck overall. Higher numbers, obviously, are better. And if we talk about the potential of a piece compared to, you know, what you actually roll, you know, higher gear score obviously shows how powerful the unit will be. And so since we get just straight up 20% more crit damage, destruction set will make your units obviously more powerful. Now go, let's go ahead and branch into why or which units want destruction set, why you should be a Banshee player, or why you need to stay as a Wyvern player. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and jump back into Banshee farming and talk about why Banshee, some of y'all might want to consider farming it as your main hunt, or at least step foot into it if you've mostly been farming Wyvern up to this point. It has four sets. Let's leave the destruction set for last since it's the most you know recent and most important, I think, right now. Uh, let's go ahead and lead off with effect resist set. Uh, it's just... So important right now with the prevalence of Soul Weavers, Knights needed as well, and even some DPS units in this day and age have been running some effect resists here and there, depending on what kind of player you are. Very good set, we've seen it like full ER, BBKs, Bloodblade Karens, etc. It's just very, very strong set, and it's a two-piece. After that, we have the counter set, which, boys, is super, super fun. Some of y'all may hate it, may not like the RNG aspect, but it's very, very important on units like Rem, RC, and Mercedes, Belly, and some units absolutely want it and need it to thrive or at least fulfill their role in the current meta. Lifesteal is kind of similar as well. Remnant Violet, you have your, what, Arias, your Spectre Tenebrius, Seaside Balonis can be run on those. A lot of different, you know, alternative gearings for some units can work really well if your playstyle doesn't typically run a soul weaver maybe you want that extra sustain from lifesteal that's just some basic gists if you haven't run banshee most y'all already know who and what you're going to want those sets for but let's go ahead and last talk about destruction set and why it's so good i'm actually going to jump out of this hunt and prepare for uh you know show y'all some examples let me cancel this real fast but destruction set as we just talked about the most gear score efficient now and for any unit, boys, that didn't want counter, lifesteal, some other kind of set, let's say any unit in the 180 to 220 speed range, some of y'all can think of some already. I'm going to use the example of Apocalypse Ravi. A lot of people are already on either counter or speed set. If you had a speed A Ravi around 200 speed, you're going to want to eventually, when you can, shift them to destruction set if possible, as it is now, you know, it gives you the most bang for your buck stats-wise. Now, boys, don't go ahead and start scrapping all your speed sets for units in this 200 speed range. Speed set is still very good. It's still very stat efficient. But destruction set now is the most important or the most stat efficient. And I think 
the only set that really just died even more is like a tax set, for example. I don't think there's a reason to run that. If there wasn't before, there's definitely not one now with the new buffs to, to Destro set. But overall, any unit that, you know, was going to be on speed at this kind of speed threshold, you know, close to 200, we're better off going for Destruction set now. So this is even more of a reason to run Banshee uh, as opposed to Wyvern. Now, there are a few exceptions on why we're still going to want to run Wyvern, and let's cover that right now. So why in the heck would you want to farm Wyvern or speed sets after I just talked about how good Banshee and Destruction set have gotten after the buff? Well, that's simple because speed is still extremely important in this game, and depending on your play style and how you like to run your units, you still need it. Let me just go ahead and bring up an example unit here. Obviously, this unit doesn't need critical hit damage, um, so she wouldn't use Destruction set anyways, but, you know, for openers... Play styles like cleave or aggro you're gonna still want to hit those high speed numbers so unit destruction set is the most that efficient you know units like this won't need it units right above like the kisei i have there i don't think i have her geared at the moment but this is a faster unit that you know wants damage as well but she wouldn't want destruction set because we need to hit her we need to make her reach like the 250 260 270 speed you know that's the range we usually want her at that way she can do her job if she gets you know overtaken if she doesn't have her first initiative turn a lot of times she won't do her job she'll just die for example so speed is still the most important even when your unit needs critical hit damage even if that gives you more numbers a lot of times we just need that speed so identify boys what kind of player you are do you like to be a cleaver do you like to hit your opponent so hard so fast that they can't recover they can't hit back then you need to focus more on wyvern if you are a more mid-range player as well like aggressive you like to run units like kisei speed remnant violet fire kawarik anything in that 250 ish 260 speed you're going to still want to stay on speed set even when it comes to you know units that want critical hit damage now if you're a slower tankier player like i mentioned you like to run unit sets on counter lifesteal and now you know bruisers on destruction then obviously banshee is going to be your hunt so just try to identify what you need the best case scenario is you farm both if you can so you're more versatile right you can have both anti-cleave setups using those counter sets from the banshee and then still have speed sets and cleave yourself uh, you can have multiple playstyles if you want. That's just going to take a lot more time. But if you really wanted to farm just Wyvern, that's always been a thing. You could do that. You're just a speedy, aggressive player. If you want to just farm Banshee now, it was still viable. It was kind of more of a, you know, we had to make an argument for it. But now with Destruction Set being so good, Banshee has now also become, if you just want to farm just Banshee, you can definitely make an entire account, entire playstyle around that as well. So don't neglect Wyvern, guys, but start looking more into Banshee if you haven't already. Start getting some of those midline 200 speed units back onto destruction or onto destruction as it's going to be more stat efficient. And overall, just let me know what kind of player you are. If any of y'all are going to be farming more destruction set in the future, like my Apocalypse Ravi here, who I previously had on speed and at one point counter as well. This is now, I think, going to be her best set. So without, you know, going on too much, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace out.